Hi, I will show you how to create a universal Windows 10 external boot disk. You can install Windows 10 to a minimum 32GB USB pin drive, SD card or even external hard disk. You will need one of the previously mentioned devices to install Windows 10. Also you will need a minimum 8GB pin drive to install the drivers for Windows 10. And finally, you will need access to a Windows machine. First we need to use Disk Utility to format the external drive you want to install Windows 10 to. As I already mentioned, it has to have minimum capacity of 32GB. On Disk Utility, click on the drive you want to install Windows 10 to, click on Erase, and on Scheme, make sure you set it to GUID Partition Map. On Format, choose MS-DOS FAT. It's very important that you do exactly as I say, in order to succeed. You may have a successful format on the first try, but if not, try to format again, just like I am demonstrating, and it will eventually work. This task will erase all the data, so make sure you choose the right drive. I will not be held responsible if you erase the wrong drive. You can rename the USB drive, try to use a single letter, as it seems to work this way. Hit erase. If you do not get a green check mark the first high, try again. Once again, on scheme, make sure you set it to GUID partition map. And on format, choose MS-DOS FAT. Bingo! The 32GB pin drive was successfully formatted. Have a look at the partition map info, if it shows GUID partition map then let's move on to the next step. Just to make sure, right click on the pin drive's info, to check and confirm that the 32GB pin drive was successfully formatted in MS-DOS FAT32. Now let's move on. On Safari, Google, Windows 10 download free. This will take you directly to Microsoft's site, where you will be able to download Windows 10. Make sure you select Windows 10 N, the language of your preference, and 64-bit. If you choose anything else, it may not work. You may only choose the 64-bit version, otherwise the bootcamp drivers will not work, and you will not have a fully functional Windows 10 machine. Let it download Windows 10, and let's move on to the next task. Now let's go to Spotlight Search, and type Bootcamp Assistant. At the top bar, go to Action, and click on Download Windows Support Software. This will download the drivers for Windows 10. Next let's download the final app that we need. Go to Safari and type, Win to USB Free. Click on the link labeled Win to USB Easy UEFI. Now click on Download version 3.6. When the app is downloaded, drag it to your desktop. Next, you need a USB pin drive. Minimum 8 gigabytes. You need this pin drive to copy everything you downloaded so far, and you will have to format it to MS-DOS FAT32. When you completed formatting the pin drive to MS-DOS FAT32, bring to the desktop everything you downloaded so far, that is Windows 10, the Windows support software, and the Win2 USB free app. Drag them to the freshly formatted pin drive and copy them to the USB pin drive. Now we need to go to Bootcamp, because we need to have access to a Windows machine that has Windows 7 or newer operating system. First, stick the minimum 32GB USB pin drive or the external drive you chose to install Windows 10 to. You will see that Windows will want to format it. Click on Format Disk. On File System, you need to choose FAT32, and click on both Start and OK.
Next, you need to plug in the USB drive where you copied all three files that you downloaded earlier. That is the Windows 10 64-bit, the Windows support software and the Win2 USB free app. First, we need to install the Win2 USB free app. Click on it and proceed with installation. Installing Win2 USB free app is quite simple, just follow the instructions same way you see them on the screen. When you completed the installation, run the Win2 USB free app. Now, make sure you still have plugged in the USB drive where you copied all three files that you downloaded earlier. That is the Windows 10 64-bit, the Windows support software and the Win2 USB free app. Click on the folder icon, find the USB pin drive, and choose the Windows 10 64-bit ISO. Click open and choose Windows 10 Pro N. And click on next. Now, at, please select the destination disk. Choose the minimum 32 gigabytes drive you want to install Windows 10 to. In my case, it was the 32 gigabyte USB pin drive. Now, it's very important that you choose the middle partition scheme, that is the GPT for your EFI and click on yes. When you get the next window, make sure you select legacy. Anything else will not work. Leave anything else as it is, and click on next. It will take several minutes to complete, so if you want, tick on shut down the computer when the operation is completed. When it's completed, you restart the computer, with the USB in place, hold the Alt key, choose to boot from the Windows USB stick. Here is a tricky part, some Macs, will not have access to keyboard and mouse once you are installing Windows 10. The only way to get around this, is to connect a keyboard and a mouse in order to proceed. On this late 2012 MacBook Pro with Retina, I do not need to do any of that, but some newer machines may require external keyboard and mouse. Proceed with the Windows 10 installation. It's very simple and straightforward. We are almost done. All we have to do now, is plug in the USB where we copy the Windows 10 64-bit, the Windows support software and the Win2 USB free app. On the last step, you will have to find Windows support software and reboot camp to install all the drivers you need to make your Mac a fully functional Windows machine. Go to boot camp and click on setup. Click next and yes, and let it install all the drivers and boot camp startup utility.
installation is completed, just reboot again, holding the Alt key. Choose the external Windows partition. Now remember, on my MacBook Pro, I had Windows 7 installed on the internal boot camp. Now that I made the external Windows 10 boot camp USB drive, I have both. I can even choose to use the USB drive on another Mac. But remember, you'll have to install again the Windows support software, just as it was done on the last step. This is necessary, as different Macs have different specifications so different drivers have to be installed. As you can see now, the Mac is a fully functional Windows machine, all audio, Brighton's keys are fully functional. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Have lots of fun with your new universal, external Windows 10 drive. Take care for now. If you would like to see more videos related to Macintosh computers or Apple products in general, please go to my channel, Addicted to Macintosh, and look at the playlists. There are many videos on many different Apple products, including Mac's High Sierra. You can also check my bootcamp playlist. There are many videos on how to install Windows XP, Windows 7, Windows 8 and Windows 10 on a Macintosh. Check it out. A to Macintosh YouTube channel. Hundreds of Apple related videos uploaded. Thank you for sharing, subscribing, liking, and viewing.